In this video, we're going to have a look at uh, advanced recipes, including cladding and insulation examples. So we'll have a look at uh, things like weatherboards and bags of insulation and how recipes can convert a square meter takeoff, um, specifically in this example, into lengths of, of weatherboard or bags of insulation. So going to start with the cladding. We'll go lock up carpenter. And I'm just going to use a weatherboard. I might use that prime line one actually, and build a recipe off this. Now I want to measure this per square meter, and this is going to be a one line recipe for me. Um, although you can absolutely add heaps more into it, but I'm going to show you that recipes have value even if they're only one line, assuming that they're actually doing some conversion. Uh, if you have a one line recipe and it's literally just the same price uh, or the exact same item uh, as the main description and it's not doing anything fancy, then it's not really super valuable. But for something like this, where it's converting square meters to lineal meters, it is very valuable. Now I'm going to say, let's say 420 per meter and I'm going to use a Prime line weatherboard. Um, let's actually, I'm going to tinker with this a bit. Let's just say it's 180 mil, uh, 180 mil by 19 mil. And the thing we need to be most conscious of um, when doing this is the cover. Uh, so something like weatherboards obviously overlaps. In fact, a lot of cladding will overlap. Um, and we need to, rather than use the 180 mil um, to figure out how much cover we get, we need to actually use the kind of effective cover, if you want to think of it that way. So I'm going to say that each weatherboard will overlap the one below it by 25 mil, which actually gives me 155 mil um, cover area, or covered, we'll just say cover. That means when I'm going to work out how many meters I am using, I will go calculator, the one square meter I care about, divide by 155 in, uh, in meters, so 0.155. And this is totally the same as how we did decking in another one. So that will say you need um, 6.45 um, lineal meters of weatherboard per square meter. And that takes into account the overlap, which is awesome. Now, I mentioned earlier, you could add whatever you like to this. Um, you could have things like wrap, labor, you could even do gun nails if you wanted. Um, but for this one, I'm just gonna leave it there. And we're gonna move on and do another recipe, which is for insulation. In fact, I will cheat just a little bit before I uh, jump out of here. I previously have done a takeoff for a brick area. And I'm just going to say that, you know, very unlikely you have weatherboard sitting on top of brick, but I'm going to use that same area just as an example. Also to show that, that you can reuse measurements this way. So 65 square meters of wall gives me 421 lineal meters of weatherboard, which is spot on. We'll save that. We'll go into the insulation category and we're going to do an example, um, basically just converting the square meter of wall to bags of bats. Obviously this uh, may be something that you sub out and that's fine. You could use the quote request option. Um, but what I'm going to do is do a recipe for it. So we're going to go insulation uh, R3.5 build recipe. And all I'm doing here is going bag um, R3.5 could be like earth wool or something like that. Uh, that bag might cost me 45, 50 ish dollars. And like um, sheet floor or um, like weatherboards, in fact, uh, we basically just need to figure out the coverage. It'll, and most recipes will come back to this maths, the same maths of, of coverage. So 
Generally, you can Google this or you can find it on the bag. I'm gonna say this whole bag does 16 square, which means that the maths becomes super easy. It's, it's always gonna be the one square meter that I care about from here, because as always, if I haven't said this already this video, um, a recipe is always figuring out the contents of one square meter or one lineal meter, and then we go out from there. But uh, the one square meter in this case I care about, divide by 16, gives me a 16th of a bag. And if I use the exact same brick measure from before, I might throw a little bit of waste at it this time. Uh, I get 4.3 bags. Beautiful. Hopefully this uh, yeah, gives you a bit of an insight into how recipes can be used. And uh, any questions, as always, let us know.